Yeah. Hi, how are you? Now we are going to explain how a photovoltaic cell works. Here, as you can see, we have one. Now, in this diagram, it is the same as it, but mm, smaller. Um, here we have two semiconductors, or a semiconductor P, and here a semiconductor N, uh, that are together. Here we have a union zone where they are together, and here it is the sun. So the sunlight formed by photons goes here, and it comes inside the semiconductor P. So in this area, in the union zone, there are pairs electron holes. It means that here in the green field, there is an electric field that creates uh, well, electricity. So if we put a grid, a conductive grid here in black, and here no, another one, um, so the circuit is closed. Here we have a, a circuit we, where we can connect some thing, stuff like this bulb. So we can create, use the energy from the sun to make something. Well, as we've seen before, um, how the cell works, now we are going to show um, what it makes. Here we have uh, a lot of cells here, as you can see. It is the same as this, but bigger. Um, well, this, these are three cells that are of uh, 1.5 volts and a certain intensity. Here we uh, put together the positive with the positive with the positive and the negative with the negative and the negative. So the intensity will be bigger, whereas the the um, voltage will be the equal. Here. And in the other side, we have a motor, an engine. Here. Now, here in this valve, we are going to put the cell. You can see, now it works. And the nearer the cell is, the faster the motor moves and vice versa. Also, the incidence angle of the, of the photons in the cell depends so the ideal angle will be a right angle, 90 degrees Well, uh, in fact, we cheated a bit because we used a light bulb, whereas we should have used the sunlight. But here in Zaragoza, uh, now it is quite cloudy, so well, it is. It is. It would. It works equal with the sun, but we cheated a bit.